Hi, I'm Mike Langlois, LACSW. It's difficult sometimes to be optimistic and to continue to move forward in the face of a lot of problems. We see problems in the world. We see problems with our economy. I hear a lot about problems with the economy and difficulties people have with building their business or trying to stay afloat. And there's an idea I have that I want to share with you about optimism that may be able to help. And it certainly is one to help that helps me. Um, and I get stuck from time to time too, trying to figure out what's the next thing I need to do to build my business. What's the next thing I need to do to generate a better practice. And one of the things that um, happened recently was I stalled out on my blog. Figured I would talk with you a little bit about how to get unstuck with that. Um, and it was not that I didn't have ideas that were useful, but I found myself getting stuck in a very different place. And if you are trying to market yourself or do a business or do a blog, you'll probably relate to this. I began to think less about what the content and the message was of what I was doing and more about how it would hit the audience and what in fact uh, was the best way to give my message to people so they would to buy something. They would buy my services or they would hire me as a public speaker. It's not something that I feel very comfortable talking about, but it's something that's real and it's something I know from consulting with folks that other people struggle with as well. And that it's hard to keep things real when you get distracted in some ways by worrying too much about what your audience is going to say about what you write or what's the right thing to post about or blog about or vlog about that's going to get people's attention. And so one of the things that brought me kind of back down to earth, which I thought I wanted to share with you today, was the um, ingredient of optimism, which has to do with contributing. Um, and in order to feel like we have something to contribute, we do need to get out of ourselves and out of what we want or what we're hoping to get out of things. And it, there's nothing wrong with wanting to get things, um, but sometimes we get sidetracked by that and lose focus on what else is important. And that's what we have to offer or what we can contribute to the world. Fortunately for me, I got in my email something I want to share with you, which is a fundraiser that's called extralife.org. And you're certainly welcome to participate in it as well. And I will give you some information about it. Uh, Extralife.org was founded about four or five years ago. And last year, it raised almost $1.2 million. And the way it raised $1.2 million was by getting people to sign up pledges to sponsor them. And from October 20th to the 21st, there's a 24-hour video game marathon where you agree to play video games for 24 hours. Now, if you don't want to play video games for 24 hours straight, that is very fine because it's on the honor system and you don't have to do it all at once. You can actually pace it out. You can do it with friends and family and you can do it online or you can do it by yourself. But the point is that you actually focus on doing something and contributing to someone else. All of the money that is raised by extralife.org goes to one of 170 children's hospitals all around the world, uh, or all around the United States, rather. And when you sign up, you can pick whichever one is your local one. So you can actually video game and raise money for a local charity or a local hospital. Now, I know the Children's Hospital in Boston, where I live, does a lot of amazing work. I've seen people's lives turned around and saved by going there and getting treatment. And it was a really nice shift in focus to not think so much about what the right message is to blog about um, and to get people to buy my workshops or buy my public speaking or buy my book, but more to remember that part of why I'm online is to contribute that it's to contribute ideas and that I tell people I work with that we're all capable of doing something good, of contributing something good. None of us are so hopeless that we can't contribute to someone else. Extralife.org is a place to go if you want to sign up for that, that you can contribute something. So on October 20th, I know I'll be playing not for 24 hours straight, I'll be taking breaks and stretching it out, but I'm committed to doing this gaming fundraiser for a children's hospital in my area because I'm committed to trying to contribute something to the community around me and trying to contribute to technology 
and the internet, not just use it as a vending or marketing tool for myself. So if you're feeling like you're in a rut and it has to do with marketing or building your business, ask yourself if maybe it's been a little while since you've changed the focus up a little bit and remember that part of what you're here for is to do something that's got to do with social justice and contributing to the world and to making the world a better place. That is something that's possible. We can make the world a better place and that's not something that we can do unless we kind of regroup every once in a while and remember that we need to contribute to our community. So if you're interested in signing up for my team of epic therapists that are going to be doing gaming at extralife.org on October 20th, you're very welcome. I will be showing you the link in a second to do that. Um, and if that's not something that you feel comfortable doing or donating or following, try to think of something else that you might have to offer because I know you have something to contribute. Maybe you've just forgotten what it is. Until next time, I'm Mike Langlois, LICSW. Thanks for listening.